Welcome to the Spiritual Hour with Mad Mix. So uh, you've probably heard of the Negroni. Uh, that's going to be a different episode, but Negroni is gin, sweet vermouth, Campari, equal parts, classic Italian uh, cocktail. And then the Boulevardier, which is a, a variation of the Negroni, uh, substitutes, uh, uh, takes out the gin and puts in the bourbon, again, equal parts. And that's a classic uh, recipe, different episode. Tonight we're going to do one which is a sort of a riff uh, or a variation of the, the Boulevardier called The Left Hand. And the name The Left Hand came from, I think it's a movie called uh, Donnie Brasco back maybe 25 years ago with Al Pacino playing uh, the hitman, uh, mob hitman called the Lefty Riguera, I think, Riguera. And uh, so that's the name. And Sam Ross was... Uh, the creator of this. Uh, he's a famous bartender, Australian guy uh, in Manhattan at the Milk and Honey Bar. And that recipe is in this book, uh, Petrosky's book, who owned the Milk and Honey Bar. And Sam Ross now runs the Attaboy at the same location of Milk and Honey because that's that's retired, gone. So let's make the left hand cocktail. Uh, calls for two parts of bourbon. Uh, I'm using uh, Waitsburg edition Waitsburg. Waitsburg uh, Whiskey Edition from Ula Distillery, which is local here in uh, Seattle. Fantastic bourbon. This one has a little bit of a high rye mash bill, so a little spicy, but it also uses uh, classic Washington wheat as, as part of the mash bill, uh, obviously corn, for uh, it to be <laughs> bourbon. And let's... Uh, Let's do uh, two parts of this. So one and a half ounce of uh, the bourbon. You can, the bourbon needs to be a little bit, uh, it can't be on the light side because Campari and the sweet vermouth will probably overpower it. So I'm using this one. I've never made this before, so let's try it. I'm using uh, Carpano um, Antica Formula, which is a classic uh, sweet vermouth. So what am I doing here? Three quarters of this, which is uh, one part. So three quarters of this. And then same three quarters of the Campari, which is a bittersweet Amaro from Italy. So let's do three quarters of this. All right, and maybe we should close these bottles. And all right, and then another interesting ingredient here, completely different than the Boulevardier or or uh, the Negroni, is chocolate mole bitters. So this is my first one with uh, chocolate bitters, and this is also a Seattle-based company, uh, Scrappy Bitters, awesome bitters. So a couple of dashes of. Chocolate bitters, maybe one more. And I'm gonna try this. Mmm, chocolatey. It's dark chocolate for sure because I can, I can definitely get the, the nice dark chocolate uh, smell. Uh, now, a bunch of ice to chill down the cocktail and then stir it, right? So let's stir it so that it's nice and chilled. Again, we're gonna put it in a, in a cocktail glass which is not gonna have ice when we drink it. So this needs to be nicely chilled. And especially because there's Campari in it, um, if it's not nicely chilled, it tends to uh, bring out too much of the sweetness, at least that's what I feel. So we gotta get this down to temperature so that we bring, well, you know what? I'm gonna put more. I see there. Let's just dump it all in there and get it nice. I can feel the chill now. So this is going to be a serious variation of, of the Boulevardier and let me try it. A little bit more chill and we're good to go. I'm going to go get a chilled cocktail glass from the fridge and we're ready to to go with this. Plus, I need a strainer, which I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna go run and get the strainer.
Found the strainer. All right. And let's pour this nice looking drink. Lovely color. There we go. There's the left hand. And it calls for a uh, Moroschino cherry. I think it's going to make it too sweet, but let's try the original recipe. And I'll adjust it for my second round. So here's the cherry. And because it's the left hand, you got to drink it with your left hand. So, which is how I drink my cocktails anyway. So cheers. Cheers. Wow, very good. Um, like I thought, the Campari is a bit overpowering, uh, but you can get the bourbon. I would use next round a higher proof bourbon because it'll, it'll make it uh, probably more balanced. Right now it's a little bit sweet and bitter. Um, I can get the chocolate bitter flavor at the back end too, but beautiful cocktail, the left hand. Cheers. Cheers again.